our second week of Christmas, so we will be celebrating Christmas one more week. And then next week we go into Epiphany, and we'll celebrate the season of light, which in Columbus we could really use because it has been dark and gloomy. <laughs> but um, welcome everybody. I hope everybody had a blessed New Year's. Um, Kathy is preaching this morning. She's giving me a break because Michael and I had a wedding at our house on Thursday evening, which was nice, but we have been working to put everything back, and um, it was nice to have a break of not having to prepare sermons, but thank you, Kathy. I look forward to hearing, and sometimes it's nice for me to hear sermons, too, so I appreciate that. So with that, we will ready our heart with work for worship, and Rudy is here to, again, play some beautiful songs for us. Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is another uh, French carol. Uh, I haven't heard it that much here in the States, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. It's called E-N-E, which means in English, he is born. Redeemer and Sustainer. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Let us come before God in confession. To you, O God, we lift up our souls. You know us through and through, and we confess our sins to you. Remember not our sins, remember us with your steadfast love. Show us your ways, teach us your paths, lead us in justice and truth. For the sake of your goodness in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. And all God's people said, Amen. Children of God, come with joy and remember the gift of your baptism. Your sins are washed away in the name of Jesus Christ, and you belong to him. You are anointed to serve.
was not being able to see the lines on the road or even the edges of where the road stopped. It was scary. The dark hides everything and brings fear, but the light is the opposite of the darkness. It guides, it makes things clear, it brings hope. The light of God is the opposite of the darkness in the world. Jesus stands in opposition to the darkness. The darknesses that are obvious and the darknesses that are hidden. And we are invited to join him there. We just ended a year that most of us are probably more than happy to see the end of. Amen. And I can't help but read this gospel passage and think about how much we need the true light to come into our world. We know, sadly, turning the page on the calendar won't fix it. We need Jesus, the light of the world. And the good news is, he's already here. Amen. The light came. The gospel warns us that the world did not accept the light, but it also invites us to accept it and become children of God. What I'm wondering is whether we'll recognize the light and receive it. I mentioned light is the theme in John's gospel, and throughout John, Jesus talks about himself as the light, but he also talks about others as being capable of bringing the light too. In John 3, Jesus says, those who do what is right, what is true, come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. In John 8, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. In John 9, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And in John 12, the crowd questions Jesus about who he is. And he says, the light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light. While you have the light, believe in the light that you may become children of the light. Jesus, as light of the world, invites us to come to the light. Walk in it. Have the light of life. Believe in the light. And become sons and daughters of light. Amen. The light of God, the word of God putting on flesh and bringing the fullness of God's glory to earth, that's the part of the Christmas story that astounds me. It takes my breath away. The Christmas story is about the light of God putting on flesh and then taking actions of miracles, healings, restoration, resurrection, destroying the darkness. The word of God put on flesh and then carried the messages of captives released, of outsiders welcomed, of hungry fed and neighbors loved, destroying the darkness. He isn't just a baby born to a virgin. He's also the entirety of God's glory, full of grace and truth. I'm reminded of Moses in Exodus 33 and 34 asking to see God's glory, and God simply tells him, you can't handle it. So God hides him first in a rock, then covers his face, and then God turns his back, and Moses is allowed to glimpse God. As he experiences God this way, Moses begins to grasp a little bit of God's glory, his grace and mercy, and when he's done, he walks down off the mountain carrying his brand new commandments, and his face is glowing with God's light. Jesus is the light of the world wrapped in flesh, and when we encounter him, like Moses, we can reflect the light too. Amen. So are we looking for the solution to the darkness? Martin Luther King Jr. famously said, Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Jesus is there driving out the darkness in the world and in us, and we can choose to join him in his light, in love, in welcoming the unwelcome, in feeding the hungry, in seeking healing and restoration where there is brokenness. Will we stand with Jesus in the light he has brought, bringing justice where there's injustice, comfort where there's pain, bringing truth where there's ignorance, and bringing hope in place of hopelessness? I've always loved the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. It was a hymn we sang when I was young, and I don't hear it much anymore. 
Where there is hatred, let us bring love. And where there's doubt, let us bring faith. And where there's darkness, let us bring only light. This week, popular author and speaker Beth Moore tweeted, If we can still weep with compassion for strangers, sacrifice something for another's well-being, if we're still willing to forgive and be forgiven, still willing to try again, if we still have faith the size of a mustard seed, then light broke through the darkness in the year 2020. Let us be a people who seek to encounter Jesus and to reflect the light that breaks through darkness in 2021. Amen. Amen.